Hello, hello. This is Dee from the Fishing Gardeners. Back at it again. Been away for a while with some back problems. Um, that's another reason why I like to grow fruit trees. Because when I can't come out for a week or so, um, they still thrive. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at these. Right here. We got the Mewa. Right here. She's growing nicely. You see her fruits on there. Fruits and buds. Got some cactus back there. And we got some aloe. Okay, we'll come over here. We got some sapodillas, alano. It's a couple of fruits on it back there. These flowers, uh, I can't bend down there that far to show you, but. That's the um, Alanos. There are two of them. And let's get over here. Okay. And this right here is a pina colada coming back to life. The pina colada mango. She's trying to come back to life there. She's been back here being ignored for a while. Now, this mulberry tree is supposed to be the Pakistani. Whether it is or not, I don't know. We had stripped it and it came back to life. So far, we have not gotten any more berries. So we'll find out once we get more berries, but it's a very big tree. It's actually the baby one um, that I planted not too long ago, really. All right, let's swing right over here. Right here, we have some mostly flowers and I have some basil down there. I have some grapes. Going up that trellis. Let's get a little closer. You can see them. Concord grapes right here. And this is um a very young trellis. So, you know, it's a very young grapevine, rather. So we also got some muscadines right here. And the muscadines, as you can see, they're separate. They're not grouped together. So, like I said, this is a young trellis, a young vine. Um on a trellis so we got a while to probably before we see some sizable grapes and inside here like i said i can't bend too far but we got some basil and oregano in their cupboard because of course you know they do not like this florida heat so i changed this side over here a little bit back and i'm into since i'm into dragon fruit now you know i took some of my cactus and succulents from the front and put them back here. You can see that. And we got that going on right there. And we got that low quad tree. Doing very, very nice. And we have this one. I'm trying to bonsai this right here. <laughs> see if y'all can see that. Right there. All right. Excuse the stiffness and the movement, like I said. <laughs> Back problems. Lifting wrong. Don't want to do that no more. Okay, so over here we have that white mulberry that we took out of the ground because the roots were spreading so quickly and we had to buy the so-called Pakistani mulberry. Here's a flower that, a uh, sunflower that is doing whatever it's doing. We still got the seedlings down here. Let me see if I can bend down a little bit to show you. Seedlings. Ugh. Yeah, here we go. Mulberry, dragon fruit, sea limbs, um, maywa, sea limbs. There's different sea limbs. Hopefully you can see that. In there. Okay, we got another sunflower. This is the mammoth sunflower, I think, right here. I'm not sure. Because I just had a couple of sunflower seeds, and they look like they're trying to push out another one there. And there. That would be funny up there. All right. And you go around that trellis. This is the passion fruit and grape um, vine trellis. And then you'll see like a lot of different flowers over here. Look at this right here. I got this. I can't remember when I got it, but it's nice and spread. It was a little ball, and I couldn't even tell you what it is. So if you know what it is, go ahead and put that down in the comments below and let me know. All right. We got this going up the trellis right here, the Mandeville trumpet flowers. And 
You can see some passion fruits up here. Some passion fruits around. And it's probably more, you know, but okay, that's supposed to be the money tree. I thought it was a desert rose. I wasn't even paying attention, but it's a money tree. Later I'll take that sign out of there. I got some of my succulents underneath until I get a stand for them. You got the petite rose coming back out. Some more succulents. So that's what that looks like as you go under. It's gonna be, I can't wait till it's nice and full. Right here we have the Oro Negro, the avocado. And um, most of the avocados dropped off, but at least I know it's flowering. So right now she's growing, so when they drop off, I don't worry about it. You know, maybe she just needs more time to grow and spending more energy growing. I'm okay with that. And look, I didn't even realize this pretty flower right here. Same thing with these young grapevines right here. This right here is a seedling. Something was attacking the leaves. So we got the leaves off and, you know, basically that's it. We got the leaves off and so nothing's attacking the newer growth up here. And we got this purple passion. And that's, you know, it spread nicely. Again, it's a young vine in the ground. So these are in the ground. We just took the pot and cut the whole bottom pot off and stuck it in the ground. We got the Shangri-La. She got a, another tipping. Let me not forget over here. We have the blueberries. Blueberry season is over. I had to cover it because some birds were coming after the blueberries, but we stopped that and we got them. Those are the blueberries. So that's the blueberries. And yeah, I am again with my succulents and cactus. And let's bring that around. Okay, as we come over here, this is supposed to have been a little island. I had other things in it, but it didn't work out. But we have this big old pink guava tree. And I'm going to tell you, it definitely has the guavas in them. Yes. And um, a lot of guavas. We trimmed her so she can have some more airflow with all the guavas she has on her. She has a whole lot of guavas on her. All right, let me not get too ahead of myself. Where was I at? Oh, so this is that other mulberry I trimmed down to nothing. And it's back. This right here is a dragon fruit. And I'll have different type of flavors thanks to Coach Ann. Um, I cover it because we have a lot of sun, you know, beaming straight in my yard. But there's different dragon fruits in there. There's just these two in there. Yep, and that's that mulberry. And as you come around, you'll see some more dragon fruit. These are just something I put up there for the birds, I don't, whether they're eating it or not, I don't know. Drinking it, rather. That's some more dragon fruit right here. We're going to be putting the tire onto that pole right there and getting that done. And we got some plumeras growing right along with the dragon fruits. So, again, these are different type of um, flavors. This is Vietnamese white and, you know, different ones. Um, I got the names on them, but, you know, right now I can't seem to turn my back too much for it. But anyway, trying to just bring you a little something. Let me back up. Yeah, so that's the dragon fruit. As we come around here, that's the um, mother Pakistani. Well, it was supposed to be a Pakistani. We will find out when we get the um, mulberries, but we stripped her down to nothing. Still no berries, so just give her time. This is some elephant ear. That uh, plant that I got from Cochain. Chan. It's the same one that gifted us with the dragon fruit pieces. So that's the 
that was in a pot too. I took that out and separated. And like I said, I haven't been out here. Been kind of ignoring the stuff. Laying in bed. But you know, everything seems to be doing pretty good out here. So let's go around this way. And this is um the dwarf Hawaiian star fruit. So she's still doing her thing. She's doing all right out here. Here we got the Barbados cherries. They're doing their thing. Look, you can see all these cherries. Check these out. They all over. And they blend in so well until they turn red, of course. So this tree is just like blossoming. It always gives us a lot of cherries and I gave it a hard hop. All right, as we swing around here, Yep, look at all these spider webs. <laughs> look at all these um blossoms. So that's a little island I had made a while back. Hopefully the sun is not glaring too much. And you see that. So as you come over here, look at that sunflower right here. She's going to town. This is supposed to be Anna Hardy Kiwi with Nita a pollinator. Um, it's supposed to be kiwi berries. Whether it we're actually gonna give us any berries, I don't know. But if it don't, something else will go there. That's another passion fruit growing up there. And then as we come over here, I have to get my husband back out here to cover the pineapples because it's too much sun. But um, that's a little. I'm into my cactuses now. I have to get him out here to cover that because the cloth came off but yeah and then pineapples pineapples all over okay we come back here and we got the ice cream bean tree she just she got a good hacking and we got the Florida Prince all the stone fruit got a good hacking you know. over here we got the pomegranate that's probably never gonna give me pomegranate and just a couple of other items that stuck in there the mulberry trees and everything over here this is a mango seedling that's going to be grafted on it's growing nice I tell you when you ignore things they seem to grow a lot better right they come out here this is the living guava see the little guavas over here and this right here is calamendin. Look at the flowers on that, Kelsey. And those are some more seedlings to be grafted. The seedlings seem to be a lot tougher, so to graft those will be a lot easier than the, um, to meet, I mean, to top them off, you know, with the other flavored trees. This is supposed to be a jackfruit experiment. We're going to see how much she'll make it. If she don't, she don't, because she needs more of a tropical environment. Here I go with some more cactus. Succulents with this play and the strawberry guava and the strawberry guava actually got guava on it and it, I love it so I didn't taste the lemon one yet the strawberry guava has a whole bunch of these I can't really bend down to show you all that but to show you because they're all underneath but they have a bunch and we have over here we have the um ice cream mango right here they got put in the ground she's finally coming back to life and then I got a little cabbage down there. How it got down there, I don't know, but I'm covering it with a basket because it's definitely too hot for cabbage. So she is growing. Okay, so I'll give you a pan out view. Uh, right here, the Valencia Pride is going to town right here. I mean, she's just growing and growing. Ask me what I'm doing to these trees. Absolutely nothing, really. <laughs> so let's just leave them alone. And here's my bed that I've been ignoring. I need to get out here to get some peppers and stuff. But look at the peppers I had put in there. They probably need to be watered. I have to have my husband come out and water these. But yeah, this is um, this is that bed. I had some tomatoes. I pulled those finally out because they started. Oh, and this is Centrella. Let's see, let's see, you can see how big that tree is. And I put that in there with a stick and it's coming all over the place. I also got pigeon peas. This is a very high tunnel, so it can go all the way up. And 
then you see some banana and then I have a uh, grafted mango up there, so a honey kiss um, gifted by Gilbert it was on Facebook and this right here is a surname cherry and that's a, a charter back there all right another guava tree guavas is finally starting to hit I may have to come back and do another video um <laughs> by the way I'm moving this right here is a pickering we have put her in there she looks like she's doing a little bit of struggle she's coming back and since she's coming back I'll be lifting that shade cloth off of her because mangoes usually do very well in the sun and that's a right here another maywa And right there, we got a papaya. I love papaya, so you'll see a couple of papayas around here. Yeah. So that's what that looks like. All right. We come right over here. And we have more of my succulents. really getting into those because you know in this hot fall of summer I don't have to deal with you know out here watering and carrying on just let it go another dragon fruits um, piece back there that I'm nursing back to life all right so this is about a bunch of junk that usually don't be here but since my back's been bothering me it's sitting here until I feel better there's some lemongrass I'm actually growing right here and those are my towers, mostly full of succulents and cactus. That's the switch off I've done this summer, so I'm not out here burning up. Okay, there's the lychee. The lychee, she's very, very picky. She's a sweetheart lychee. She was doing horrible when the sun was aiming on her. She's starting to look real good now and pushing out a lot of growth. So she's doing better. Um, the little bit of fruits I had on her fell. She got one fruit sitting there. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see that. One fruit sitting there. What is it going to do? I don't know. Okay, and this is that other dragon fruit fellas with different flavors. Giving Coach Chan from Harmony Dragons a shout out for um, gifting us with a lot of these flavors. So that's what she looks like back here. Okay, let's go back here. Okay, we got some the miracle fruit trees right here. And they're still doing they do. Over here. Uh, spider webs all over the place. Okay, and we got that loquat tree. And the blackberries. So, let me go ahead and stand back here. So you can actually see it. That shrimp tree is doing good. Shrimp plant. When we come over here, we just have a bunch of, a couple of herbs and different things I put on in here. A lot of gift, um, get the plant pieces, and you got that nest still sitting there around my passion fruit. Okay, let's come back and let's see. This is my Logan tree, she's doing pretty good. Hopefully, the sun is not too much in your way. Let me try to angle a different way. You can see all the fruits that Logan's giving us. This is a very good tree. I mean, it, I mean, it could just take a lot. So, I'm definitely happy with this tree. All right. You know, we, of course, you know, I got a bunch of nagami. Um, not a bunch of nagami. I got one nagami. And I have um a bunch of maywas. Go here. That's another one of our dragon fruit trellises. And that's another dragon fruit trellis getting ready. And we got some more dragon fruit right here. Let's see about them move over here all right here we go aren't you excuse the noise up above this one right here is going to go ahead and come out and that's going to be a dragon fruit trellis also so that's the dragon fruit as we come along here just got you know a bunch of maywas passion fruit i'm trying to hurry up with this so it don't get too long 
And I put these little flowers underneath them because they like shades. That's why you see these little flowers like right by them, trying to give a little bit of color in the yard. This is the red lady. I had to cover her right now because we had put her in the ground um, a while back and that direct sun was hitting her. So I'm covering her just so she can get over the shock and then I'll be lifting that cover off of her. So that's her. Then we have a bunch of peach trees and plum trees that this peach tree did very, very well. It's supposed to have been a sun racer, but if this gives us peaches, it's okay. So she got her chop. Um, sugar apple's not really doing nothing over there. Santa Rosa, she got her chop. We have um, Methylly Plum got her chop. And we have Scarlet Beauty still going strong. She got a, a partial chop, but I have to get these um, plums out of here, off of here. So you see these plums get off of here so she, I can go ahead and get her back into her growing stage. And, um, yeah, that's all those plums. And the Mexican guava is fruiting up very, very well. So I'm getting a lot of fruits off of that. So what I do for the guavas is I go ahead and give them a chop. And um, that encourages them to grow. So these are right here, my persimmon trees. And this one had like 100 persimmon flowers on it and they all fell off, but it's okay. Obviously she wasn't ready to fruit. Uh, another year to grow. That one has some persimmons on there. This one has some persimmons on here. There we go. We got some different ones. And um, yeah. So you do when we come in here, of course, you know, this is my shade house right here. And what you do, you mostly see dragon fruit cuttings. Yep. Dragon fruit. And they growing too. Look at them reaching toward the sky. They growing. They growing big in the shade house. They seem to do better in here than out there. So, you know, different type of flavors. Voodoo Chow, um, American Beauty, Natural Mystic, you know, Yellow. So I have different ones here. And this house does very good in growing stuff. So again, let's get cut through here. Another one of my cactus. Going cactus crazy, y'all. You know it. And this is some more persimmons. Look how big that persimmon is getting. And you know, there's a couple more over here. And in my body, you see. Okay, as we come along, some more persimmons. And then we have the um, passion fruit now. She's giving us a lot of fruit. And she's also a baby one, so she's coming right around that trellis. Okay, we got the blueberries here. Blueberry season is kind of over. You see still a blueberry here or there, but I'm not really worried about it. And they're covering, just letting them go ahead and grow. Another maywall right here. And we got some flowers in the, you know, the bricks that I put down. And we got another papaya tree over here. Gave her a shade because she, you know, going in the shock until she get a little bit of size on her. I took out the NATO plums out of there and got some more, you know, succulents and cactus. Right here is my Java Jakarta. It's a red sabre Java Jakarta. She don't like too much sun, so she get acclimated. We got a nectarine tree right here. She got chopped up. She's growing back. And over here is, oh, let's see that there, focusing. Over here we get, you know, some more of my succulents. This is, these are pencil cactuses right here. That's what that is. Over here we got some strawberries. And um, pigeon pea. Some more maywa. Come around here. Supposed to be an atomoya. She looked like she having a hard time. She's always looking like she had a hard time. The custard apple is coming up nicely. She is coming back from a chop over here. I have to get down here whenever I can bend. But this is supposed to be a, let me see. Oh, Lord. Okay, I don't know if you can read that. She had the cane, but she's busting out of my shade claw. So, yeah, I have to get back around here and, um, you know, get back out here when I'm feeling a little better. And, you know... So far, the, the trees in the yard's not looking bad for 
me not being able to get out here and do what I need to do. But um, that's what I like about fruit trees, you know. So um, yeah, everything's doing pretty good, and um, hopefully. By next week at the latest, I could really be get back out here and get into my gardening once again and finish doing what I want to do to my yard. Right now, I'm going to continue to rest up and get this back strain out of here because it's a pain. And um, yeah, so hopefully you're enjoying your day. If you like this video, please subscribe, comment down below, and um. Thank you for following me. Thank you very much for, you know, following me. I know I haven't been putting out videos in a while, but I'll be coming back at y'all with some more videos. And hopefully you're having a blessed day. Goodbye.